Hello everyone and welcome to your Caribbean News and Culture. I'm Delinda Eiffel. In some top news stories this week from the Caribbean, there was an airy alert surrounding Caribbean Airlines which left passengers at Guyana's Chetty Gengen International Airport highly cautioned and airport officials on extreme guard. Earlier this week, the United States Embassy in Guyana posted a statement on its website stating partially in quote, out of an abundance of caution, the embassy advises all U.S. citizens traveling in Guyana on Caribbean Airlines to the United States to make alternative travel arrangements, end quote. The statement also advised U.S. citizens in Guyana to enroll in the Department of State Smart Traveler Enrollment Program called STEP which is a program that provides security updates and contacts enrollees in the event of an emergency. Travel on board the Caribbean Airlines has continued since, and no flights have been canceled or postponed. The Chetty Gengen International Airport plans on implementing its highest security measures in the weeks to come and is urging all passengers to be vigilant. The embassy has not provided any details surrounding the statement posted on their website and they have not confirmed any threat information. Russia is seeking to strengthen its country's ties with Jamaica. Russia recently celebrated the 10th anniversary of its professional day, and Russian ambassador to Jamaica, Valdemir Polnov, called on Jamaicans to embrace the celebration. 2015 will mark 40 years since the two nations have had diplomatic relationships and Ambassador Polnov is looking to enhance the relationship between Russia and Jamaica, specifically in cultural and educational regions. One of the Caribbean's top mobile carriers, Digicel, is partnering with St. Lucia Tourist Board for the sixth consecutive year to launch the 23rd annual St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival. At a media gala ceremony that took place earlier this week, it was announced that this year's festival dates are April 30th through May 11th. In the past years, the event hosted performers from John Legend to Tony Braxton to R. Kelly, as well as Rihanna and Barris Hammond, just to name a few. This year's St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival is expected to continue on a path of captivating entertainment and cultural sentiment. Haiti's President Michel Martelly visited the United States this week, but aside from meeting with the White House, President Obama, and government officials, Haiti's president took to the podium at Howard University in Washington, addressing the university's president, faculty and staff, and hundreds of students. President Martelly spoke on hopes of implementing exchange programs for the university students in Haiti and focused on areas of education, law, medicine, engineering, computer science, and architecture, and hoped to partner with Howard University's Center of Advanced Studies, which aims to contribute to educational development in large black populated developing countries. February 6th, worldly lovers of legendary Jamaican artist Bob Marley celebrated what would have been his 69th birthday, but apparently the jam session is still continuing. The new Victory Theater in Times Square, New York, is putting on a musical for kids called Three Little Birds, which feature, features many of Bob Marley's songs. The musical is recommended for anyone ages five and older. It opened on Friday the 7th and is expected to wrap up on February 23rd. <laughs> Well, last week we mentioned the start of the 2014 Winter Olympics taking place in Sochi, Russia. The two-man Jamaican bobsled team is expected to begin their competition on Sunday, February 16th at 11.15 a.m. Other Caribbean nations participating in the 2014 Winter Olympics include Bermuda's cross-country skiing team, who caught a lot of slack and ridicule for sporting Bermuda shorts during the opening ceremony. Also competing in cross-country skiing is Dominica, and the British Virgin Islands is representing in freestyle skiing. We've got so much more straight ahead. Stay with us. We'll be right back. 
everybody. Heart disease affects one in every three women in America, but you can fight back. There's no time to lose. Mothers, sisters, daughters, families, and friends, it's time to shout louder, stand stronger, and demand change. Let's go. To the Batmobile. Dang it. To the invisible jet. Dang it. Together, we can put an end to heart disease. It's time to go red for women. I could use your help. Yeah! Learn more from the American Heart Association at www.goredforwomen.org. Michael Adams? Here. Michael Adams? Here. <laughs> Michael Adams. Here! Michael Adams. Students who miss 18 days of school in any grade risk falling behind and not graduating. Absences add up. Keep track at boostattendance.org today. Kids will spend 57 minutes making me go splat. Brushing for two minutes now can save your child from severe tooth pain later. Two minutes, twice a day. They have the time. Can you consent with me? Imagine what you'd see if every child had a book to read. So the mission is for us to get a book to each and every child. <laughs> so let's join hands, book people unite. Unearth hidden passion. Come on, we'll have Read to a child today and spark a lifetime of ambition. Welcome back to your Caribbean news and culture, everyone. Valentine's Day is upon us, and love is in the air. Or is it? For sure, when we were kids, Valentine's Day excited us. But as adults, do we get the same rush, or is it just overrated? I intend to find out. It was a thing where we would run to school and draw paper hearts all day, exchange personalized flowers and chocolate and candy. But as an adult, is it something that we still care about? Let's find out. We're here at Share Inc's Barbershop in Mattapan, Mass. And let's face it, the one place men know how to unloose and keep it real is the barbershop. Let's go find out what they have to say. All right, we're here talking about Valentine's Day. Let me know, does the holiday still excite you? Actually, it really doesn't excite me. It just makes it, like, expensive. So, at all. All right, so it being expensive, does that mean that you have to buy more than one gift for people? It seems like now you're trying to put me in a jam. This is a TV. You're trying to put me, trying to get me into something right now. I'm just saying, is it expensive because you're buying an elaborate thing for one person, or are you buying, you know, multiple gifts for multiple people? Well, actually, I'm just, you know, I'm not really trying to, like, really buy a gift at all, you know, because I don't really, you know, believe in, like, Valentine's Day, you know, because I think, you know, it should be Valentine's Day, should be every day, except one day. So, so would you say that is commercialized in a way? Yeah, it is, because you know, they got the colors, the hearts, they got the little baby gonna shoot you in the butt, you know? I, I think that's Cupid. Oh, Cupid, that's his name? <laughs> that's your question, why Cupid ain't grow up? Cupid's still a baby. Maybe. Baby. baby know about love, shoot you in the butt. Well, when you were younger, didn't you love Valentine's Day in school? I know, I used to love the little candy and stuff. You know, little kids used to give some little, you know, little girls and stuff. You know, she didn't like my candy. What about now? You have any girl that you'll be giving that candy to now? See, they're again trying to incriminate me <laughs> on camera. I plead the fizz if. <laughs> All right, finish this poem for me. Roses are red, violets are blue. If you pay one of my bills, I love you too. I 
feel about Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day to me is just, it's extra for me. Like I'm kind of romantic anyway, so it's, it's just another day for me to do what I do for whoever. All right, so do you expect a gift or do you expect to just be given a gift? I don't expect a gift. I never expect a gift. If it's given, okay, but if not, it's not whatever. So do you feel like the ho- not a not a receiver? All right. So do you feel like the holiday is commercialized? Do you feel like you know it, there's hope out there, there's love out there? We, we need it in the world. Oh, we definitely need love out there in the world. I the holiday fake is corny. <laughs> Would you celebrate it? Yeah. Let's see. For me and my situation, Christmas and then birthday and how the Valentine's Day is a week after. Yeah. I'm, sometimes it gets a little too much. I I don't know what to do. So do you think something, you know, like a $5.99 box of chocolates and some flowers are enough? Or is there like a, a ballpark for how much your gift should cost? There's no ballpark. I just, I get what I want. It doesn't matter. Depending on how I'm feeling that month. <laughs> you know, I'm being real. <laughs> so how you feeling this month? Kind of cheap. <laughs> how do you feel about Valentine's Day? Does it excite you anymore? No, I think Valentine's Day is overrated. Well, it was a thing of the childhood. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, it was, you know, something to do. But as an adult, not even feeling it? I'm not feeling it. Uh, you know, I, I feel it a little bit. Like, I feel like, I think it doesn't matter if the woman gets flowers or anything. As long as you just say Happy Valentine's Day. As long as you acknowledge it, that's all that matters. Yes. Alright, so do you expect anything? I don't expect anything, but if I get something, you know, it'll be a plus in my book. I think men shouldn't have to go out of their way to get women things, and women not go out of their way to, you know, impress their men. They still have I mean, some lingerie, some heels, and taking the wrap scarf off for one night. Is that enough? No, I'm saying, like, you know, I think women should go ahead and, you know, put that work in for their men, too. Make a good meal and do what you have to do to keep your man happy, as well as your man keeping you happy. It's a unisex holiday, not just a holiday for the lady. Exactly. All right, that's okay. Indian flowers, too. You want some roses? Only if they are um, strawberry roses. <laughs> what about chocolate-covered strawberry? Oh, that's fine, you know. Make the night a little more interesting. That's what's up. So, you're chilling here and sharing in Mattapan, the barbershop. Let us know how you feel about Valentine's Day. Is it overrated? Do, do you feel the holiday? Um, I feel the holiday um, not as much as what, like people do. I think it is kind of overrated. Um, just this is a commercial holiday. Having said that, do you expect a gift on Valentine's Day? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things. I, I I expect something. I don't expect anything big. Like I wouldn't expect jewelry or anything, but to, like. I want a card at least. Oh, so even as so, a woman in the relationship, do you also give a gift? Do you only expect to receive a gift? No, I give a gift. I... Alright, so now is your gift something tangible or just, you know, that nice scarf off, some heels, some lingerie? It depends. On what? <laughs> <laughs> on how I feel. <laughs> so how you feel, does that then depend on the gift too or? get too many details. <laughs> All right, we're here at Sheer Inc. Barb Shop in Madison. Camp. Shop owner Phil, what's up? How you doing? Good, good, good. All right, I want to talk to you about Valentine's Day. Talk about the holiday. Is it excite you anymore? Not about the holiday. All right, so do you expect a gift, or are you all right with not getting a gift? Um, no, I don't really expect anything. All right, now, are you married, engaged, is it complicated, what does that mean? Oh, I'm engaged. Right, so you definitely have no choice, but celebrate so, Valentine's Day. <laughs> now, what to you is an idea that will make the holiday special? Um, I don't know, as long, as long as she's happy at the end of the night. You know, probably like dinner, movies, or, you know, depends on what week of the day it is, so, 
it falls on a weekend this weekend, so, uh, you know, so. It's a whole weekend of celebration. <laughs> yeah, breakfast in the morning, all types of things. So. All right, now, you say you, you know, you celebrate it for your lady, right? Now, sometimes Valentine's Day is situated with what happens after the dinner and after the gifts. Now, if that doesn't happen, will you still be okay with that? Yeah, I'm okay with that, yeah. <laughs> So the holiday, in essence, really is for her. Yeah, exactly. Happy Valentine's Day, Jerry! <laughs>
just a doop a doop. It is. <laughs> We're here at Keenan's Hair Salon talking about love. And what better way to talk about love than with a couple? So, talk to me. How long have y'all been dating? Five years. Five years. All right, all right. Now, Valentine's Day is coming up. Let me go to you first. Valentine's Day could be considered a woman's holiday. Are you expect? They say. they say. Now, do you think it's a woman's holiday, or do you give in, expect to receive? Um, I give in, expect to receive. I do both. I feel like, it, right, you can want some things as a woman and expect maybe some things, but I feel like it's okay to maybe, you know, give your significant other some things, too. I feel like it should be a mutual thing. What do you think a, a nice Valentine's Day consists of? Um, I think mainly a gift. Every woman wants a gift. I, I'm not going to be cheesy in that. And every, every woman wants a gift, so just a gift, you know. And maybe a little loving, you know how that goes. All right, now clearly you guys are a great example of love still existing in the world. What would you tell to our viewers about love and Valentine's Day? Well, I would tell them love comes in all shapes and forms, and sometimes, you know, you don't see it until, you know, you're old enough to accept it. Right, and it doesn't always have to be in a gift form. It doesn't always have to be uh, materialistic. It, it can be just love, you know, and that exists. There's hope, guys! There's hope! We have none other than the shop owner, arguably one of the best in Boston, Kita. What's going on? How you doing? I'm doing fine. All right, we're here to talk about Valentine's Day. Talk to me about the holiday. Is it overrated? Do you get excited? How does it make you feel? Um, I don't think it's overrated. I just think that if you have to wait till this one day a year to show and prove your love to your loved one, that to me, I feel like it's not real if you only wait till this one day. If you were to plan a beautiful Valentine's Day night, what would it look like? OMG. Um, a nice romantic dinner, exchange of the gifts, <clears throat> excuse me, um, <clears throat> something else, but I really can't say it. So, so stuff comes after dinner and the gifts. Yes, dessert. <laughs> and edible too. I don't think any man would object to that for Valentine's Day. I have my own edible arrangements. Now, if you had to finish the poem, Roses of Red, Violets of Blue. I hope, I eat chocolate. I hope you do. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day from Keita's Hair Salon. too funny. I want to give a special thanks to the barbers at Share Inc. Barbershop and the lovely stylists at Kita's Hair Salon. You all are hilarious. Thanks for your input. I guess it's fair to say that for the most part, Valentine's Day is still alive and well into adulthood. There are some rules and regulations and it's a bit more complicated now, but it is indeed a way that brings us love and excitement. Now, if you're looking to get into anything for Valentine's Day, you can check out reggae artist Silva Dust's release party going down at Stadium Sports Bar and Grill on 232 Old Colony Ave or Lorenz Island Cuisine at 657 Washington Street for an evening of music and dinner. But whatever you decide to do, have a happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for watching.